Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm a disabled Army veteran. And today I want to talk to you about the VA Homeless Programs. I want to talk to you about the VA Homeless Programs. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and Reddit for more content. If you're a veteran and would love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we've gotten all the business out of the way, let's get into this topic, man. So today, like I said, I'm going to go over the VA homeless programs. I thought this was pretty cool because I didn't honestly know that they had programs because I'm not. As far as a veteran, I'm not homeless. Um, I did go through a situation when I was in Houston, Texas, where I was borderline homeless. And there was a lot about being homeless That um, as a veteran. It was a lot of information that I had no clue about. And today, you know, as I'm sitting here reading through, looking for content, trying to figure out, okay, what do I talk about today? I found this on the VA dot gov website and i just really wanted to go over it so that you know it, it exists and if you know a veteran that is going through homelessness then you can go on va.gov or you can go in the description box where i'm going to put this content and information at and you can connect them to someone who can help them during the during their time of homelessness so the first question they ask on the site is, are you a veteran who is homeless or experiencing houses, housing instability? If you're a veteran who is homeless or at imminent risk of homelessness, we strongly encourage you to contact the National Call Center for Homeless Veterans at 877-4AID-VET. The number would be 877-422-3838 for assistance. And right here, as you can see, they have three different boxes. They have boxes, a box for veterans, a box for landlords, and a box for business owners. So whichever one you are, what you would do when you're on this site, you would click on that. And the one that I'm going to go over on this channel uh, would be for veterans because again, this is vet talk for veterans. Um, it says no veterans should be without a place to call home. VA is committed to ending homelessness among veterans. Our focus is threefold conducting, coordinating outreach to proactive seek out veterans in need of assistance, connecting homeless and at risk veterans with housing solutions, healthcare, community employment services, and other required supports. Collaborating with federal, state, and local agencies, employers, housing um, providers, faith-based and community nonprofits, and others to expand employment and affordable housing options for veterans exiting homelessness. So this is what the veteran, uh, the VA is all about right now and what they wanna do. And I think that's pretty cool because I remember when I was in Houston, Texas, as I was stating earlier, um, the process back then, if I remember correctly, was um, if you was homeless, you had to be homeless for up to a year. And at the time, I'm gonna be honest, so I thought that was ludicrous because it's just like, okay, what you telling me is, it was so many veterans on the wait list until it it took a year to even receive help, and that was crazy. That was crazy. It, it was real crazy. But let me go ahead and click on for veterans so that you can see what for veterans is all about. So once you click on for veterans, those who are helping the veteran or the veteran to yourself, this is the page that it brings you to. It brings you to the National Call Center for Homeless Veterans, and it offers free help for homeless veterans. It's the veterans who are homeless or at risk for, of homelessness, and their family members, friends, and supporters can make the call to our chat online with the National Call Center for Homeless Veterans, where trained counselors are ready to talk confidentially 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you have a family member that you know is homeless as a veteran, you can call. Veteran yourself, you can call. 
friends of a veteran, you can call. Anybody can call this number to talk 24-7, which I think is pretty cool because now that helps that veteran who may not be in the right state of mind to help themselves. And it says, who can call? Veterans who are homeless are at risk of homelessness. Family members, friends, and supporters calling on the behalf of the veteran. VA Medical Center and other VA facility and staff. Federal, state, and local partners. Community agencies and providers who serve veterans who are homeless. Why make the call to one 800 8 a one eight seven seven four eight veterans or eight seven seven four two four three eight three eight. It is free and confidential. You get access to trained VA counselors. It is available twenty four hours, seven days a week. You'll get information about VA homeless programs, healthcare, and other services in your area. So this is why it's very important to call because you're able to do all these things, which I think, again, is pretty cool, considering the fact at one point, I remember it was a whole year before you can even get, you know, um, housing help. Uh, what happens when um, veterans make the call? A trained VA staff member asks a few questions to find out what you need. Then you're connected to the nearest VA staff person who can help. Again, that's pretty cool, considering at one point, I remember in Houston, it was a year. What happens when others make the call? Family members and non-VA providers receive information about available homeless programs and services. They can keep their information confidential or leave contact information so staff can follow up. So this is what happens when you, as a non-veteran, call in for a veteran. This is what's going to happen. And if you want to learn more, you can locate the nearest VA facility um, access more resources um, via VA National Resource Directory website or vi um, visit VA's Homeless Veteran website for more information, which is the actual website that we went to when I first started out. And um, like I said, I think it's cool that they have these different boxes. And while I'm on here, I'm just going to click through and see what each one um, offers. So here you can see they have um, a place where the landlord, so if you're a veteran and you're facing, um, you're in a situation where you can't pay for your rent or you're struggling to pay for it and different things like that, right here they have a place where you can go um, and get Hood Vash, which is a program that, you know, helps veterans, you know, basically pay for, you know, their place where they stay if they're struggling. Um, and here you can see that they have different things going on, which, you know, I think I can kind of um, read the beginning of it so that you have understanding. Um, landlords, what you need to do, it says, how can um, how landlords can help in veteran homeless. No individual who serve their country should be without a home. Um, VA cannot address this alone and need landlords who are interested in housing these veterans. In the historical crisis, the landlords have a unique opportunity to give back to those who serve. Veterans have selfless, um, selflessly defended our nation in time of need, and landlords can make a positive impact by protecting these individuals from the risk of homelessness. Housing veterans doesn't just provide shelter, but lead but can lead to life-changing health, social, and socioeconomic outcomes for them and their families. Furthermore, housing veterans provide a, multi, um, a mutual beneficial relationship. Landlords will benefit from responsibility off the long-term renters, support for a VA, and guarantee payments that comes through the housing choice vouchers or guarantees offering short-term Sub, 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 subsidize. So this is what they do for those who help veterans as far as landlords. And I think that's pretty cool because the VA is partnering up with landlords that are willing to help give back to those who protected and fought and defend for our country. And I think that's cool because again, like I said, at one time, I remember um, it was like a whole year that you had to wait in order for you to be even put on a list or you would be put on a list 
and you would have to wait a year before they would find placement housing for you in the area that you were in. But what they would do at that time, if I'm remembering it correctly, what they would do is they would actually move you from where you're from and put you somewhere until they can find some place for you to be where it was close to you. And I think that was, you know, very hard on a lot of veterans because they would have to leave their safety net, which us as veterans, we don't like to kind of, we don't like to move around. We don't like change as much as some people may be, you know, um, okay with that. But as, as veterans, that's the things that, that's the thing that we don't like to do. So we like our safety net. We like our comfort zone. And from what I'm reading here, they're trying to help veterans stay within their comfort zone, which I believe would help a lot with their mental health and, you know, help them to get the um the mental health needs that they um have. They would get the um get 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 the best help that they can get. So um I think for those who are landlords or who may know of a landlord or you may be dealing with a situation as a veteran, um get your landlord to connect with you know, um, the VA, the VA so that they can, um, basically receive the funding that they need to house you. And you don't have to necessarily leave your situation because from what I'm reading, the VA is looking to partner with people that are willing to help out veterans. And I think that's beneficial. I think that's a good thing. I think it's one, um, a thing that, you know, um, that is pretty good. And from what I can see is, um, you know, one of the biggest thing that I can see on here is, um, sure the property is up the code. Passing inspection is essential component of providing housing to veteran in need. Such inspection should not, um, provide any additional burden to the landlord, but rather mere typical requirements. So this is the housing standards, sanitary facilities, fruit preparation and, um, Refuse disposal, space and security, thermal environment, illumination and electricity, structure and material, indoor air quality, water supply, smoke detectors. So, you know, they, they, they pretty much cool for what they're doing. And if you as a, um, veteran, you know, like I said, are in this situation, please connect your landlord to this. Because they have a lot of good information posted on this website that would help you. And up here, you can see you can jump to contacting us, housing voucher, finding tenants, additional assistance, which is pretty cool. And let me see what they have for business owners. For business owners, they list all of the um, actual business owners in each state. Because I'm in Texas, I'm going to click on Texas. And right here, you can see all of the places in Texas where you can contact. So they have places in Austin, Houston, North Texas, which is Dallas, South Texas, which is San Antonio, Central Texas, which is Temple, Fort Hood, um, Amarillo, West Texas. They have, you know, different locations, different contacts information right here so according to whatever state you're in all you have to do is just click on the tab at the top for your state and you can find um community employment coordinator contacts on the list that the va.gov have for you and this is pretty much it man so you know if you need any assistance or you need any help doing this stuff I willing to help you out as far as you reaching out to me on vet talk, Texas dot. I mean, vet talk, Texas at gmail.com. That's a perfect place to reach me at. I don't want to put my phone number on here par se, but if you're, you know, a veteran and you reach out to me, then, you know, we can go further um from there and I can, you know, do my best to help you with whatever situation that you may have going on. And um, I just do this because this is my way of giving back to those who gave to me. And I think it's beneficial and it's necessary for us as veterans to, you know, put information out there, put content out there that will help the next veteran. Because, again, I always say this. When I first got out the military, there were a lot of things when it came to the VA that I had no clue about. And 
The only way I know what I know now is because someone else poured into me information. And this is part of what I want to do. I want to pour information out to you so that you can get the best care and the best help necessary um, for you. And every situation is different. Every veteran needs something different. So if there are things that you want me to talk about, highlight, go over, whatever the case may be, just let me know in the comment section. You know, um, you know, I like for people to, you know, like the content, you know, comment on the content. Please let me know. If you don't like it, please let me know you don't like it. I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. I'm just willing to do whatever it takes to help my brothers and my sisters out there that I know that serve our country, the one percenters, because it was only one percent of us who made it through beyond basic training and AITR, individual school training for whoever, wherever, whatever branch, you know? So I just know it's one percent of us that serve. And I just want to make sure that I help the one percent that the 99 percent may not understand, but it's okay. That's fine. That's what Vet Talk is all about. We're going to bridge the gaps. They're going to have an understanding of us. And we're going to have an understanding of them because we're going to fight and do this thing together. So this has been another episode of Vet Talk with your boy, Brother Vince. As always, Vet Talk out.